I'm going to do oil change on this 2002 Mazda Protégé. I'll show you what you need. We'll start up top. I've already drained the oil on this one. Engine oil is uh, vital to the engine. You can just ignore it. In the service manual it says that you do change the oil every 4,000 kilometers if the uh, conditions are harsh or 6,000 kilometers. Whatever that is in miles. Uh, here is the engine and before you order an oil filter you're gonna need to look at the engine layout if the on this on these cars if the filler cap is on this side it's a 1.8 or a 2 liter engine if the filler cap is on this side it's a 1.6 liter engine here you'll find a dipstick that uh, you need to check the engine oil level when, uh, when it's filled back in and I removed the cap because it drains faster with the cap removed for filling engine oil in you're gonna need an ever handy clean funnel and of course you're gonna need a can of oil automotive grade oil let's get under the car oh actually my oil filter There, I check the manual and here is oil filter. I'm gonna need this kind of oil filter, so says the dealer. And under the car here, I got, oops, I'm dripping a little oil here. I just pull that in my bucket. Just give me a sec to set up here under the car with this uh, camera. That's why we also start in. Uh, a little bit of a reverse order. Okay. While I clean up here, we'll get just a sec. So you need to start up top uh, with an oil change, uh, looking at your uh, manual to see how much oil you need. And this vehicle needs three and a half liters of oil. And uh, the layout on the engine was important to order the proper filter the proper filter for the car because I need to know if it's a 1.6 1.8 or 2 liter engine because the part numbers might be different for the different engine uh, size so I got my oil filter here and uh, that's how new clean oil filter looks like it's got a threaded portion here there you can see the threads there and uh, and it's got a rubber seal all around it let me see if it says so but usually all these oil filters say that before you uh, before you uh, install it uh, lubricate this filter with a little bit of an oil so we'll do that and here is the drain bolt I pulled it out some of them have a little magnet in the middle a useful feature that I like for collecting metal shrapnel from inside the engine as it wears uh, over the miles and it's about this long and I found that I needed a three-quarter inch wrench for it and make sure that you work with a six point socket like this one. It's got six corners, not 12. Okay. So let's get closer and I'll try to set up the camera here that you can see what I'm doing. Thereabouts is the oil pan. Let me just stabilize the camera so I can work hands free. Just give me a sec on this one. Mm -hmm. That seems to work. Okay, so I just dripped out a couple of droplets of oil here, and so the drain ball just goes in there. You want to make sure that you don't cross thread it, and also this washer on it should be, um, it's got this somewhat conical, odd shape, but. Uh, it should seal, bottom line. It shouldn't have any major deformities. While the car is up in the air, 
uh, I can also take a look at the underside and make sure that uh, there's no scratches, dents, holes or any other structural deformity on the oil pan on the engine. And oops, other way around. And when you, you should always get the bolts started or fully insert the bolts uh, freehand to make sure they are not cross threaded. Cross threaded. So I just made it just uh, tight, just a little bit. What the heck is a little bit tight? I haven't used the torque wrench. That's what it is. So uh, eventually I'm gonna pull out the torque wrench and uh, make it work. I'm also gonna need to look up. Up, up, up. Let's see. Okay, just gonna reposition the camera a little bit. Because that's where the oil filter is. Just bear with me, folks. Uh, let's see, where's my hand? My hand is there. How about... How about this angle here, hand free? Yeah, there you go. There's the oil filter. I kind of loosened it. And it's coming out all right. Take out the oiled, old one, and put the new one in. Uh, usually I do take a look, which is what I'm doing. Just here on the floor, that's what I'm looking at to make sure that they look alike at least. And like I said, I should moisten this one with a little bit of oil. So for that, I'm just gonna grab some of this one, like that. Just not dump some, but moisten my hand with a little bit of oil, just like so, and make it nice. And also, this one says one turn after. I just wait for the camera to focus. It reads something like one turn after it's uh, in touch in contact with the body of the car, I guess, the engine. So, just bear with me here. Let's get the camera back here. So the oil filter was somewhere there. I'm not sure if it's any better this way or this way, but either way, I'm trying to find the little threaded part where the oil filter goes on and there it is and there it's semi-tight and like the instruction says it needs a turn a wonderful turn after it's in contact with the engine block so that would be its one full turn there just hand tight remove by hand tighten by hand all right eh? so that's up there and now i should uh, run the engine to make sure nothing leaks and i'm gonna oops and i'm also gonna bring out my uh, torque wrench and make sure that the oil drain bolt here is uh, tightened to specifications so that's how an oil change is done and uh, yeah, you make sure that you uh, that you test your assembly before you ride anywhere else. So run the engine.